going on, guys. The Mavs come up with a massive win against the Minnesota Timberwolves, 120-114. to 114. A huge win on the second night of a back-to-back to go 3-1 on the 2024 season so far. Just some overall takeaways from this game. I think your player of the game was Kyrie Irving. He had 35 points, 5 assists, and 4 boards. And once again, fourth quarter, Kai took over, made some huge shots there, went on a run, made a couple of threes. 39 minutes on the second night of a back-to-back for Kyrie, who's kind of struggling so far this year. He obviously was great tonight and had his breakout game of the season. Thought it was a great game from Kyrie Irving. P.J. Washington had a solid night as well, 17 points and 8 boards. Uh, made some nice plays uh, in a, in the playmaking aspect where I thought Washington uh, may be a little bit underrated. He has some vision. He has ability to see the floor well, especially in transition, and liked a couple plays he made there. So kudos to P.J. He also had a tough assignment guarding, uh, he was on Anthony Edwards and McDaniels as well, who both had solid nights. We'll talk about Anthony Edwards in that for- first quarter, excuse me, performance here in just a moment. But uh, I thought this was a really good team performance from the Mavs. Once again, Luca, he was cold. I mean, 10 of 27 from the field, one of eight from three. But that three pointer was absolutely insane in dramatic Luka Doncic fashion as the shot clock's winding down from 35 feet. Hits the step back and cashes it. Minnesota calls a timeout and he just screams out, that's what I effing do. And that is what he does, man. He's a big time player who makes big time shots. And even when he's not shooting it well, I still think Luka affected the game in a pretty positive manner. Still had eight assists, still had eight rebounds, defended pretty well, was being physical on that side of the ball. He's competing on that side of the ball. Got his second technical of the season as well through four games. Thought it was really soft. Maybe the Mavericks can send that to the league office and get it rescinded. But Luka is really struggling to shoot the ball uh, in in the first four games of the season. He's shooting just 36% from the field, just shy of 27% from three. And this is kind of what you get because he missed the whole preseason with that calf contusion. And these first four games, he's kind of used as a preseason of his own. I think the shooting numbers will improve as the season goes on, but they do need to get Luka into a rhythm and shooting well. I will say this, it's a great sign that the Mavericks can win this game on a second night of a back-to-back against a team who we all think is an NBA title contender in the Minnesota Timberwolves while Luka is shooting that bad from the field. I think that's a great sign for this team. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Who was the MVP of tonight's game? Was it Kyrie Irving? Was it Daniel Gafford? Do you like a guy like P.J. Washington? Was it Quentin Grimes who hit a couple of big threes? Uh, Let me know what you guys think down in the comments for today's pinned comment. When you get hit with a YouTube ad break, go on down there and get your votes in. Um, I also think that the Mavs showed really good uh, mental intensity after that first quarter when Anthony Edwards went off. It was he was unconscious, couldn't miss a thing. Twenty four points in that first quarter. It was an absolute sight to behold. But the Mavs stayed the course and they ended up getting the lead there early or late in the second quarter, excuse me. And then Luca went down with what we thought was going to be a knee injury on a really strange play where uh, McDaniel's goes into the back of Luca's knee and Luca screams in pain and hobbles off. Uh, Straight to the locker room. Didn't even go to the bench. Went right to the locker room. This was uh, with less than a minute to go in the second half. So there was certainly some cause for concern there. But he ended up being fine. Came out for the second half. Didn't shoot it well once again. But like I said, made the the, uh, right plays when it happened. And hit the biggest shot of the game in typical Luka Doncic fashion. We'll get to uh, the rest of the game and some news and notes here in just a second. But I do need to tell you guys about our sponsor, which of course is Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports, and you can now win up to 100 times your money with as little as four correct picks. Prize Picks puts its members first, so all withdrawals are fast, safe, and secure. You can get your money in as little as 15 minutes when you win. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS and you'll get a $50 bonus when you play just a $5 lineup. You don't even need to win that lineup. The bonus is guaranteed as soon as you play it. Pricepix is the easiest way to win real money this basketball season. Which players are going off? Which ones aren't? Make your picks in less than 60 seconds and turn your sports opinions into real money all season long. 
Download the Prize Picks app today and use code CLNS to get $50 instantly when you play $5. Again, that's code CLNS on Prize Picks to get $50 instantly when you play five. You don't even need to re- win to receive that $50 bonus. It is guaranteed. We're playing Prize Picks this entire basketball season. Do it with me as well. It is Prize Picks. Run your game. Uh, a couple of notes on the Mavericks bench. You know, they only had nine points in that game against Phoenix. They did a little bit better tonight uh, with Quentin Grimes, nine points. He, hit, he was three of five from three, hit three threes in a row. So I liked what I saw from QG, uh, played some valuable minutes there. And I thought my, my boys at Mavs Film Room uh, had a good tweet where they said that he's basically a guy on this that needs to be in this rotation because he has the foot quickness that most players don't have on the Mavs. So they need Grimes to be able to knock down those shots because they need him to play, plain and simple. Uh, His versatility on the defensive end is going to get him on the court. Hopefully he can knock down some of those threes as well. Didn't love how Najee Marshall played, but he made the huge steal at the end of the game that effectively sealed it. Uh, He was 0 for 3 from the field. 4 points, 3 boards, 3 assists in 16 minutes. Haven't really seen it from Najee yet. I know it's 4 games in, but uh, that we're, we're nitpicking here. I, I do think he needs to be more consistent, especially from the field. He's going to have to knock down a couple of shots to keep the defense honest. So Marshall's been a little bit of a disappointment so far, but not super concerned. Spencer Dinwiddie has uh, kept his place in the rotation in 18 minutes. He was just one of five from the field. He hit a three-pointer there. So the Mavs are still looking for answers on their bench. It wasn't Jaden Hardy tonight who played just four minutes as well. It's a little bit of a concern. You'd like to have a little more scoring punch. Derek Lively will give you that. Maybe not on a night-to-night basis, but he certainly will give you that. And Clay Thompson didn't really score tonight. He just had seven points on two of seven from the field. Look, I think this is a sign of a really good team. When all the guys aren't scoring and not all cylinders are firing on the offensive end, the Mavs can still grind out 120 points and beat one of the best teams in the West on the second night of a back-to-back. So you're gonna not you're not gonna find much complaining there from me, man. Uh, Jason Kidd's doing a great job with this team so far. The rotations, uh, he's still trying to figure out what he likes on the bench. I do think he has kind of decided on Daniel Gafford to be this team's starting center going forward. And I think that's okay, especially given how well Lively has played. Uh, I think he's settled on that. I think he's still trying to feel out when to take Luca out and when to put him in. He kind of messed with that a little bit tonight. I think Luca likes to play the entire first and third quarter, but that kind of hampers him in the fourth when you have to sit him for at least four minutes. So Mavs are still trying to figure that out. I still think they're trying to figure out who their guy off the bench is going to be. Is it going to be Dinwiddie? Is it going to be Hardy? Is it going to be QG? They're still trying to figure that out. But all in all, you're three and one out of these four games, and you can't ask for much more than that. The Mavs take on the Houston Rockets on Thursday. We'll be going live for that, so please be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you're notified as soon as we go live love hanging out with you guys in the Mavs vs Spurs opening night game and can't wait to do it on Thursday it's Halloween so let's have some fun let's go Mavs three and one no better feeling baby let's go